I'm John Melandrin, and welcome to another edition of our video library. We are taking and actually looking at live traps, and our good friends at survivalwarehouse.com sent us some awesome traps. Uh, these traps are actually Imperial products, and that's uh, www.imperial-products-usa.com. Uh, they're the manufacturers. The first one we're going to talk about is this one right here. This one is a 50 inch by 19 inch by 5 inch. And it is mammoth. And what we're trying to do is, if we're lucky enough, catch a uh, bobcat or a coyote, which is preferably. I have used these traps in the past, and I've caught in two uh, feral dogs and two uh, feral cats. And so they're very effective. The reason for these live traps is not only for transport or calling your game department if you have a pest, but in a survival situation, you want to have these in your prepper inventory. The reason being is you can have snares out there, which are not really that effective. You can have claw traps. A lot of times the animal will chew its leg off to get out of that. And so the ultimate prepper survivalist trap would be something of a live trap. And so that's what we're going to demonstrate and actually talk about today. The first one is, of course, for coyotes. And I want to show you how to assemble this, and then we'll take it over and actually bait it. But this thing is incredible. Just unfold it slightly. Reach into the door. Snap it into place. Reach back. Snap it in. And almost voila. Very simple. Now for the door trigger. This slides into the hole. Slides right into the clasp. And attaches up. And it's that simple. And of course, you have your handles. So two guys can actually pick this up with a live coyote or anything else and transport it. So now we're going to show you how to bait it and how the actual trap works. We'll be right back. Now we've set up the trap, I want to show you how this works. And it's very simple. You pull these two little levers that have springs on them and you bring up your trap and you put the little lever just right on that bar and it's set I mean it's that simple then when the critter takes and walks through inside this plate is what activates it so when he puts any pressure on this plate right here the door closes and of course he's trapped inside so it's a very easy and simple trap. Anyone can use this. Where doing a steel trap or a uh, snare trap is a little bit more difficult, but this is great for the beginner. You can set these up in certain locations around your homestead or 
if you're in a survival situation and it just better your odds. One more thing is you don't have to check this all the time. I mean, if you get a critter in here, it's not like they're gonna bleed to death. It's not like they're being hurt. Uh, they're not chewing their leg off or anything. So you can check this once a day, uh, once every day and a half. So that's the great thing. And then to reset, of course, just as simple. And voila. Now this back section, you can take and open, and this is where you can release the animal. This is also where you bait. Now if you're using small bait, you have to kind of go over the top. So that's a little difficult. Otherwise, if, if depending on your food or what you're using, you can just toss it in through the door opening. For this, I want to try to catch either a raccoon or a coyote or something. So I'm gonna use some mackerel. I'm gonna put the majority in the very back part. I'm gonna put a little bit on this lever. I'm gonna put a little bit more up toward the front and I'm gonna put some out here. So that way it's eating and follows the trail in. Now I've opened the mackerel and what I'm doing is just putting the juice in more of a straight line. It's also going to help cover up my scent because this mackerel stinks. I don't know why people want to eat it. Nice mackerel. So I'm just gonna toss it back in the very back. Then I'm gonna put one somewhat in the center. And this one, I'm just gonna kind of break apart a little bit. And that way it gives it the scent trail. It comes in, starts eating, of course it wants more, and it steps on the lever, trap goes down, voila. So what we'll do is we'll come back tomorrow and uh, see if we caught anything. But this mackerel is definitely going to bring something in because it stinks. See you in a bit. Well, as you see, the trap is effective. I was kind of hoping for a uh, bobcat or uh, even a coyote, but a little raccoon works just as well. Look at you. You're a pretty one. So, let's see what else we can catch and uh, there's other things out here, armadillo, uh, pretty much anything. Well, this concludes uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so far in the large trap, uh, as I previously stated, I believe, I've caught uh, two wild cats, a wild dog, and a raccoon. On the smaller trap, I caught a wild cat and now a possum. So they are extremely effective in a survivalist or a prepper situation where you need to set out these live traps and have actual food that you can utilize in a collapse situation or anything else. So I, I firmly believe that every prepper, survivalist, homesteader, etc., should have one of these traps or, or both these traps really uh, in their survival gear. Thanks and I'll catch you on the next video.